This is a presentation of Northeast Streaming Sports. Hey guys, Keith Angle of TGI Sports Talk with my weekly vlog. As I say every week, I won't take up much of your time, and tonight, today, I may even take up less. Got an NBA topic which we haven't had in a while, and you know, we talk about players not being able to, you know, control themselves, control their actions, uh, act like adults. Um, carried themselves with the correct code of conduct. And how can we hold them accountable when our coaches aren't doing the same thing? This week, uh, Celtics coach uh, um, Ime Aduka um, was suspended for a year. It was taught he considered resigning. I still think you'll see him resign after uh, it came out that he'd been carrying on a uh, an affair with a, with a front office uh, worker against team policy, against the code of conduct within the, within the team. Um, and it, it, obviously it was a, you know, consensual relationship. So there's nothing here untowardly in that, in that sense. He does have a long time uh, relationship with, with another woman and has a child. So, you know, there is that moral side of it and there are moral clauses and code of conduct uh, policies that teams put into place. And they need to be followed or, you know, they aren't just a list of suggestions. They are rules of conduct that you are expected to follow to remain a, uh, an employee of that organization. Just like many uh, companies in the real world have these types of uh, code of conduct. There could be a fraternization uh, 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 code like was it infringed on here. And if you can't expect your coach, who, by the way, did great things with the Celtics this year, he's been a longtime uh, uh, player and coach in the NBA, well-respected uh, assistant throughout his years since 2012, becoming an assistant coach with the Spurs, then the 76ers, then the Nets, until becoming the head coach of the Celtics this year. And in his first year, taking them to 51 wins in a disappointing, as it turns out, loss in the finals. Good coach. But how does this guy lead men and try to hold them accountable to do, to follow team rules, number one, but to also play within the system and, and play within the roles that they're given on the team? And how do you hold those guys accountable when you are not able to control your own personal behavior? This is the problem that's gone on in sports, you know, through the years at diff in different uh, uh, situations. You know, Billy Martin, different situation, you know, had his personal demons. He couldn't control his own little world. How was he going to try to hold other men accountable at the same time? These are men, too, by the way, not boys. But you still need to be, have a strong leader. Again, I, you know me and leadership. And leadership starts with following the rules. I don't think Aduka will be the coach of the Celtics next year. I'm not sure he'll coach in the NBA again. He'll get a chance because, you know, we're a country of, of, of second chances. Which, and, and look, at maybe rightfully so. But I don't think this team he can come back to and face those same players and say, I expect you to live up to this standard when he couldn't do it himself. <laughs> you know, there's not a lot more for me to say about this situation. I mean, I'll repeat myself here a couple of times, but great coach, again, not – as far as I'm aware, 
nothing else in his history that's been a problem. So I understand if you're going to give the guy a second chance, but I don't know that it can be with this organization with these players. Somewhere else where he gets a fresh start, maybe you can do it. But to do it here? Where these group of players, and some of them I'm sure that he had issues with at point la- points last year because every team has them, where he had to hold guys accountable for not living up to a certain standard that he set for them, whether it be their their behavior, whether it be their, their play, whether it be whatever. And now you've got a man who has not lived up to the standard that the team set for him to be this on a personal level, the personal code of conduct, whether it's a, a moral clause, which this isn't necessarily, I believe this really just infringes on, uh, on the team policy, but to flagrantly carry on this affair throughout the year. Um, and again, nothing, it, it, it was a consensual affair. It wasn't anything to do with, you know, you know, a me too type of thing. At least as far as we know now, this isn't the same uh, uh, situation as we're looking at with the with the sons and their owner, where he's going to be forced to sell this team, and he's suspended for a year by the league, which he probably should be suspended for more, because you know this is an organization and a man who's who who is, is spouting misogynist and racist uh, nonsense. It's a little different situation. This is a personal situation, which I guess the owner of the Suns, you could say, was as well. But it did in, it, it also impinged itself on the organization, the way they ran day-to-day business. So this is a little bit different situation, but still, he's also in a different situation than the team owner is. He is a man who, again, is there to hold these 12 guys accountable to do their perform their role on this team and help them win. And he's a guy who could not do the same thing within his organization, perform within his role, and stay within this group of rules, which the team is totally entitled to put into place. There'll be some people that'll say, look, it's his business. He wants to run around on his significant other. I don't believe... Um, let me look here quick. I do not believe he's married. Um, actually, he was went then girlfriend Neil Longa, so I guess they are not even together. Well, maybe they are. It says then girlfriend. They are. Oh, I see. They're engaged, but they're not married. And you'll say, well, they're not married. And if he wants to cheat on his girl and the, 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 the mother of his ch- child, well, that's his business. Well, no, not if the team says it's not. My company has a morals clause. I could go out and get in trouble tomorrow for something and, and they could let me go because they don't think I should be leading a group of people the way I do. And I think the same thing has a whole true in sports. And in many, in many, many situations, uh, it has not been adhered to in the past, and some coaches have paid the price for it, and some have not. But many teams have paid the price because the coaches were not held to the same standard as the players. And in this case, Celtics at least did hold that coach accountable. They've suspended him for a year. He considered resigning, which he did not do. I still have my doubts that Oduka will coach this team ever again. Because I don't think he can. I don't think he can come back in this situation and lead this group of men. He could go somewhere else with a fresh start, not here in Boston. Guys, Keith Angle for TGI Sports Talk. You agree, you disagree, let me know. We'll see you later. Have a great day.